At the end of today's episode, we will invite our first settlers to join our village, but before we can do that, here are some things to do before starting your colony. The main mission here is to collect a ton of resources and have that in place before starting your colony, because you don't want to run out of food to feed them. You also want the resources ready to make the tools they need, otherwise production will stop. The first thing we will do is chop down a bunch of trees and collect the wood, because those will be used by the builder to build the different kind of structures. And we'll also make sure to collect all of the saplings, because they are used in some of the recipes, and they're also used by some of the NPCs to complete their day-to-day -day tasks. No, leave me alone! Once we've filled a bunch of barrels with wood and a couple of saplings, which is not enough, we'll get more, it is time to go mining. The main things we're looking for is cobblestone for the builder, then we want iron to make tools with, and finally we want to get a bunch of coal in case there's any of the dudes needing coal for whatever reason, maybe the miner needs it. And vein miner is definitely gonna be such a lifesaver to manage this colony. I can probably stop now. Because we have four barrels full of cobblestone and we have a bunch of coal, which is not enough, we'll get more, but this iron should be perfect to get us started. The next thing on the list is to collect wool and leather, and I'm doing it manual for now, but I definitely want to automate it later on, which is delaying that a bit until we know more about the different kind of mods and the options we have. Oh, right, we're gonna get a lot of raw beef looking for leather, and I should remember not to kill the sheep, I can just shear them, that is technology we have. Now even though all that beef will feed our colony, I'm gonna make this island into a giant wheat field, because the wheat will help us to breed the cows to get more cows to get more food, and the wheat will be a nice backup food source. The only thing is that it's taking so long to fill this island with seeds, so I will just finish it over time. A side product of wheat farming is you get so many seeds, but those will help us make the flowers. We will take the seeds and drop it into my auto composter to make bone meal. And the bone meal we can use to get some flowers. And now with everything checked off of our list, it brings us to the final one, which is string. And the only way I can think of making string is finding a spider spawner. I have no idea how to do that. Oh wait, don't I have flax seeds somewhere? I'm sure I had some flax seeds somewhere. Seeds, okay. I do have a single piece of flax seed. Let's plant that. That is such a lifesaver. Now we have two flax seeds. This is gonna take forever. Approximately five hours later, and I wish I was over exaggerating, we have a full flax seed farm. And it only took so long because I was filling in the wheat farm with seeds. And I am shocked at how long this took. But now all the wheat is in. Later on we'll just add some pathways and bridges. And definitely have a centerpiece, maybe a windmill. I'm not sure about that yet. It looks way more impressive if you actually take a walk through it. Seeing as we now have enough resources to get started, I went ahead and invited the first people to join our colony. And it seems like they have arrived. If you are curious to see how we cleared this castle and accidentally started a pillager raid, click the video that is on screen now. Otherwise, join me next time when I show you how to start your thriving colony.